Hi, this is Arthur Hill, Senior Technical Analyst at StockCharts.com. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to work with scan results. So we'll start off by selecting and running some scans. I'll show you how to confirm and refine your scan and results. We'll go over the scan results page, show you how you can filter those results, and finally how easy it is to save and export those results. So I'm here on the charts and tools page. You can see at the upper left hand corner there and on the right hand side at the top, there's a button for your scans. You can also access your scans from the member dashboard page at the top. If you're already logged into stock charts, chances are you're going to be on your members dashboard when you start out. And there we can see a link on the left to the advanced scan workbench. That's if you want to create a scan or open a scan. Also on the right, we have the button for scans. And if you click on that, then you will be taken to your scan section on your member dashboard there. And there you can see all the scan options there. So I'm going to select a scan. I'm going to take RSI bull cross, and I'm just going to edit that scan. So this is a basic scan. You can see at the top, I've got my group defined. I want it to be either the S&P 500, 400, or 600. And it's important to define your group at the beginning because that will speed up your scan. For instance, if I had RSIs above 50 at the beginning, well, then it would search the whole universe for stocks or ETFs that have RSI above 50. But if you narrow down your universe at the top, your scan is going to run much quicker. So I just want the scooter to be above 70 and RSI to be above 50. And I will click Run Scan and I will get a new window that will show the results. Now, whenever you run a scan, the first thing you want to do is check your results. And you can see we've got 387. And what do I mean by check results? Well, you want to make sure the scan is doing what it says it is doing. So you need to go to one of these names. There's a link to your default sharp chart. And if you click on that name, you're going to get your default chart. Now, my default chart includes RSI. If you're scanning for MACD, you might want to change that uh, when you're running a scan so you can see MACD. But we're looking for RSI to be above 50. And there you can see RSI is above 50 for Aaron Rents. So you can go through a few of the charts to make sure the scan is delivering the results you want. Now we had 387 results and that's too many. And so I probably need to refine the scan because you or maybe you want 387 results, but normally we would want 10 to 50 results so we could look at the charts. And instead of RSI above 50, I'm going to change that greater than to a cross. So I'm going to refine this scan. And then I'm going to go ahead and run that scan again. And so we will get a updated results page. And you can see we've got 65 where RSI is crossing above 50. And so I'm going to click on Adobe Systems to see if that chart reflects what I want my scan to be showing. And there you can see it looks like RSI was just below 50 the day before and it has moved above 50. So I'm back on the scan results page and let's review what's on this page. There you can see your scan criteria there at the top. And just below that, you have some available options. There's a drop down menu, which we'll go over in a little bit. You can see the number of matching results. We have 65 results. And if I scroll down, you can view 100 per page or 50 or 25. I'll just leave it at 100. Then we have the columns button there and you can add and remove columns by clicking this drop down. So I do not need exchange or the universe. So I will just remove those and you can see the column headings. You can sort by clicking on the column heading. The default sort is by the scooter. So if I click that, I'll get a reverse sort with the lowest scooter at the top. I'll click again to get the highest scooter at the top. Now, if you want to search the table for a specific term, you can enter that term in that search box there. So if I enter the term technology, I will get all the results that have the word technology. Now, most of them are going to be in the technology sector, but you can see also as you scroll down, you've got a biotechnology as well. 
Further down this page, you're gonna see some really helpful links. You have links for instructions, links for writing scans, scan examples, and predefined scans. You can go to the previous or the next page if that is an option. Now on the left-hand side, we do have some buttons there for charts. So I can click this to get a seasonality chart, which is a little snowflake. I can click the X's and O's for a PNF chart. So if I want to see advanced micro devices on a PNF chart, just click that link and there you have a nice PNF chart. So now let's look at the available actions so we can get into some nitty gritty analysis. If you choose that drop down menu, you've get, you got four choices. You can put the results in a new chart list. You can merge the results with an existing chart list or you can replace an existing chart list with these results. And what I usually do is just replace an existing chart list that I've devoted to scan results. And if you look at your chart list, I've got scan results at the bottom. And so I'm gonna click OK. And all those results will be put in that chart list and it will be opened up for me. Now what's great about this is you can do analysis right away. You can do 10 per page or you could look at candle glance charts, which would be 30 per page. And so you can find some setups that appeal to you quickly and easily. So here I am on the candle glance page. You can see my default candle glance indicator is MACD. I could change that to RSI if I wanted by changing my candle glance chart style. And the last option is to export or download in a CSV format. And when you click that selection there, a new window will pop up asking you where to save that file. And then you can open it in Excel for further analysis purposes. And that concludes this instructional video on working with scan results. If you need to know more, be sure to check out our other instructional videos. There you can see on the right, there are more videos for scanning and alerts. Thank you very much for tuning in and have a great day.